other horrible thing is to recognize that in the context of corruption, for example, of the Virginia Department of Environmental, oh, or is it economic quality? Um, I think they've forgotten who they are and what they're supposed to do, whom we're paying with our taxes. When they are corrupt, in that context of corruption, the fragmentation of the regulatory and permitting process that was shortly written to try to protect us becomes a thicket for the ordinary citizen like myself or Ella Rose or Chad Ova, a thicket that is designed to exhaust us, to consume us, to turn us away in hopelessness. For example, with this air permit for the Buckingham uh, compressor station, what that fragmentation of regulation means that we cannot or could not until November 9th address the full impact of the Atlantic Coast Pipeline on the air pollution in Virginia. We could only look at this one compressor station, giant and horrible though it is, um, and we, we could, it also meant we could not appeal for a quantitative health assessment from that permitting body so that you understood what the health was in this area before you poisoned it and they don't want that to happen because then you can sue them for poisoning you so that's always a block but that's a different agency and nor is there any single source that you can go to that quantifies what the consequences for non-compliance of these permits is and what will happen that doesn't exist anywhere and 99.9 percent .9 maybe more of the compliance monitoring for the compressor station for example is done by the corporation who owns and profits from it the deq says clearly they don't have the staff the ability and we know now they don't have the will to do that compliance so it's fox garden the hen house it's a fragmentary thicket it's not working for your average person and that's who the DEQ should be protecting. They're not.